other thing that um, uh, Emerging Metropolis looks at is it uncovers the actual networks uh, that uh, Jews developed by um, looking at uh, Passover uh, matzah distribution lists. Okay? So you, you know that at the, at the time of Passover, Jews need to, to eat matzah, and uh, matzah, actually, factories are, begin to get started in the, in the city because the city becomes an important place for bread baking, among other things. So, okay, we, we can make matzah. But matzah is expensive. And um, after the uh, panic in the, uh, the late 1850s, um, Jews didn't have enough money to, to buy matzah. Jews living um, on the Lower East Side, or what was called Klein Deutschland then. And uh, the, uh, Annie Poland, one of the authors of the, uh, the volume, uh, discovered a, a um, list of matzah distributions of who was receiving it and a list of people who made contributions to it. So it was very clear where the more prosperous Jews lived and how they were helping those who weren't. And um, th these kinds of connections let you see the ways in which networks were being developed within the city to to knit together a fabric of, of, a, of a Jewish community.